Hi, I'm Amy from cybernews.com, a source of advice for secure and private online choices. The Black Lives Matter protests, recent resistance to electoral corruption in Belarus, or generally just for a more private communication service. The ever-evolving communication platform of encrypted messaging has become the answer for many. But how safe are these encrypted apps and what should you look out for? Let's take a look in this video. To put it simply, the basic security measure we'd all expect from an encrypted messaging app is, big shocker, encryption. When it comes to end-to-end -end encrypted communication, this type of encryption prevents third parties from eavesdropping while the data is being transferred. But in some cases, it isn't as simple as just downloading the app. Even when an encrypted messaging app implements end-to-end -end encryption, it doesn't necessarily mean that this has been automatically enabled. You'd be surprised to hear that some messaging apps actually require you to explicitly enable this feature. And with others, this option is only under specific circumstances. Telegram, for instance, is a prime example of a messaging app that doesn't use end-to-end -end encryption by default. Users actually have to enable the secret chat feature themselves. And if you don't enable this feature when using Telegram, your data gets saved to their servers. Another important factor when looking at these types of messaging apps is the availability of their source codes for audits. Usually, open source apps are open for experts to check for any vulnerabilities or hidden backdoors whilst reviewing the code of the app. This is a good thing. It means exploits can be found and exposed, hopefully before any damage is done. Another great way to get a reliable choice when choosing an encrypted meshing app is to look beyond privacy and security and examine the features. For instance, you'll get a good level of security if the app has features like a screenshot detection, which basically notifies you when someone takes a screenshot of your messages. Or screen overlay protection, which helps protect the app from tap jacking and stops users from being able to interact with the app when an overlay is detected. So we can't really talk about encrypted meshing apps without taking a look at the encrypted meshing app, which has been considered the most secure and private by privacy advocates the world over. Signal. At the start of the year, it was even reported that the European Commission have adopted Signal for its staffing communications. It's safe to presume that they aren't meshing classified information throughout this app, but sensitive information for sure. Or just good old memes. Even so, if that's any indication to how popular this encrypted meshing app has become, then it's pretty darn popular. But why is this? Let's take a closer look. Signal implements end-to-end -end encryption and its source code is open source, which I mentioned before. It means they allow audits. A great feature that Signal has is its self-destructing messages. This feature allows messages to just disappear once a certain amount of time has passed. It's all very mysterious. And unlike other messaging apps, Signal only stores the basic information it actually needs to function, like the user's phone number, random keys, and profile information. Signal even takes it to the next level, protecting your messages even if your phone ends up in the wrong hands, with the option of locking the service by applying a password. You should know that in May of this year, experts from the security firm Tenable discovered a vulnerability in Signal that could have allowed attackers to track a user's location. Although this was patched pretty quickly, it validates my point that exploits can be found anywhere. To get a wider picture of how encrypted meshing apps can be affected by vulnerabilities, head to our website. The link is just down in the description and take a look at the list of issues affecting the most popular software companies in the last year. When it comes to surveillance, whether that be from government agencies or law enforcement, people tend to opt for an encrypted messaging app to take back control of their privacy. But how surveillance proof are they really? Well, when we talk about a secure application that's secure now, it doesn't mean that in the future this application can't be hacked due to the discovery of a zero-day vulnerability within its components. It's safe to assume that an application is secure if dimension fixes are implemented. But new discoveries do happen and new vulnerabilities are found in code pretty often. Some messaging apps, like WhatsApp for instance, store their unencrypted backups on Google Drive when used with Android phones. This means that the Popo could get warrants and force Google to hand over users' messages if it came down to it. Although it is possible for WhatsApp users to disable the messaging backups on Google Drive. Getting back to Telegram, another issue in the use of proprietary protocol called MTP Proto. This majorly lacks transparency with the way it protects communications. In short, there are some messaging apps that could be considered surveillance proof by default, whilst other apps need to be used and configured correctly. It's worth mentioning, there definitely are some applications that lack security and privacy just through design and could expose your surveillance activities. 
So the best word of advice would be to do your research and don't rush with making a choice. Are they hack proof though? It's a pretty valid question. We all have a huge fear about our personal information getting accessed, siphoned off, or worse off, sold by a cyber criminal. To put it bluntly, the answer is no. As I mentioned, new vulnerabilities are possible to discover, but apps that open source their code and run bug bounty programs are considered by far much more secure choice. You have the option of reading about these audits and exploits online, and you just have a lot more transparency with open source applications. Even if a company manages to patch certain vulnerabilities immediately once they're discovered, just their existence shows how every software, even the securest of them all, can be affected by flaws. When it comes to security and privacy with encrypted meshing apps, a few major weaknesses tend to be related to four things. And of course, the number of contacts that you have that use this service will be a huge factor in swaying your opinion. But be sure to do your research and maybe convert those friends over to a more secure platform. For more on encrypted meshing apps, click the link down in the description and head to our website. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. Thank you.